high in this video i'll be covering another another custom visual that is the force directed graph so let's get started i'll go to my excel and i'll import my excel file and we'll see how many sheets we have so we just have one sheet over here and that's this talks about the page visits so where did i start from did i go to the about me page or the home page of the archives and what were they looking for and how many my customer and how many views did the page get so i'll load this into rbi and as you see this is getting loaded so now we'll go to app source that is the three ellipses here and we will import our custom visual so this is the force and search for force and i'll find it the first one so this is called the force directed graph so what this graph does is allows you to establish relationship between two estimates so i've worked on a similar visual earlier that was the chord so basically even in the chord as you see you have relationships established between two visual two estimates and if you look at the force chart force directed graph it is the same pattern the visual does the same job so they're kind of similar in those terms although they look quite different so i'll just create a matrix and i'll have my source my target and my views one second why is it not showing up I'll have a table actually yes sorry not a matrix ID I'll have a table so now I'll increase the size I'll bump the size up so that it is visible to all of you and then we'll convert this table into a force directed, directed graph and then we'll see how we can work on the force directed graph and what are the options in terms of formatting that are available to us so yeah we have selected click inside click inside the chart and then we'll click on this symbol this logo of the force directed graph and then this will convert this which will into a force directed graph okay why did this not happen let's do that again one second let's have the force directed graph here source my target i'll have that in my source and i'll have my views and my weight okay i don't know why this is not working just give me a second hey, sorry yeah sorry my bad so you have to have your source and your source you're targeting a target i did not drag that properly so now you see that this is how the force directed graph looks this is pretty cool and the thickness of the lines depends on the views that it has so you've got a couple of formatting options available so if you click inside and come to the format panel and you could also move this around so you could change the position you could have it at different places so that is not an issue so we have the animation screen here so you can turn that off so the visual won't move around so it'll just stay in the same position so We'll keep that off for the moment because we just want it to be the same. We can turn on intersections and we can see that as well where the where they are interacting. And you can bump up the text size. You could do that as well. And you could turn on arrows. So you could have those. You can turn on labels if you want those, but those make it clumsy. And you could change the color as well. So the by link type or you could have it by weight. So when I come inside, the color changes. You could turn off the thickness, so all of them become the same. The, all the arrows become the same size, and they are not dependent on the views that it has. We have the nodes option where I can turn on images, and right now you don't see any image, but I have a URL that I have copied, and if I drag it into this, you can have an image in here as well. So this is pretty cool. And you could highlight the reachables that is also something that you can do you can bump up the size so if I turn this off so this won't be bound by the box 
and this this extra space that we have we can cover it up here so i can make this 25 and it will increase it's the size i can make 37 so you know it depends on us how much you want it to be you, you could have a title in here you could have a border around you could lock the aspect ratio and the other normal stuff that you have available so yeah this is the force directed graph a pretty cool visual to establish the relationship between two estimates thank you i hope you learned something new